Party. Today I would like to discuss a simple shortcut formula. You can just see the lengthy methods given in the books. So many steps will waste a lot of your time. And I am here to make you clear in a simple shortcut way. So let us uh, use our maximum resources to reduce the time so that you can solve any problem of J mains are neat in just less than 15 seconds. What can I say? So here, what is this problem here? There are two objects. One is sphere and other is solid cylinder. Both have been pushed with a similar, I mean, identical velocities. They are moving, but they are, they are reading, uh, they are reaching the maximum heights and that heights may be different because the bodies are different. So our question is, what is the height reached by the sphere to that of height reached by the cylinder? These two ratios we want and let us see what is the method to solve this problem. Here you all know that let us take this is A and when the body has reached to certain point that is B. So what is that question here? Uh, total energy at A is taken as total energy at B. Here kinetic energy is there. Here only potential energy is there. So therefore potential energy at A can be taken as okay. So potential energy at B can be taken as mgh and Kinetic energy at A can be taken as half m v square 1 plus k square by r square. That's it. Okay. Use this formula and reduce a lot of your time. So mass is constant. G is constant. Half is constant. Again, mass is constant. It is said that same linear velocity. So velocity is also constant. So from this formula, you can pick up only two variables. That is h is directly proportional to 1 plus k square by r square. So this relation will help you to solve the problem in just less than 15 seconds. How? Let us see here now. So it is said that height of a sphere by height of a cylinder is equal to 1 plus k square by r square for a sphere is going to be 2 by 5 and for a cylinder it is going to be 1 by 2. You all know about this k square by r square values. So therefore it is going to be 2 by 5. And this is going to be 1 plus 1 by 2. If you solve these two directly, you are getting 14 by 15. If you want, you can just check it out 14 by 15. Okay, because this is going to be our answer. That is uh, what we can say. Yeah, B option. Okay, so this can be. Uh, okay, you can just see here now. Uh, this is. 7 by 5 divided by 3 by 2. That's it. 7 2 is 14, 3 5 is 15. Hope you enjoyed this method. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.